All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my original equate, uh, sorry, original problem here. So I rewrite 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. And now this is the same thing as, you can rewrite 901 as 900 plus 1. So this is the same thing as 9, 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Now, there is an important exponential property that you guys should know. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And using this property, we can rewrite it as 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 900 and, or sorry, 9 to the power of 1. Now from here, notice how we have two terms here. Our first term is 9 to the power of 900, and our second term is 9 to the, 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So because both of our terms have 9 to the power of 900 in them, we can factor that out. So we can factor our 9 to the power of 900, and we get 9 to the power of 900 times, well, 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is 1, minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is simply just 9 to the power of 1. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify what's in my parentheses here. 1 minus 9 is negative 8, so I have 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. And I can rewrite negative 8 as... 8 times negative 1. And now I'm going to multiply negative 1 with 9 to the power of 900. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. Now from here, I'm going to, I can rewrite my 9 here as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of 900 times 8. And now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So I have ne negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. And now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this can equal negative 3 to the power of 2 times 900. And now I have this times 2 to the power of 3. And if you guys already didn't know, 2, to the power, two times 900 is 1800, so I have negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is our answer in its most simplified form. We can't, if, if you want, you can try putting in 3 to the power of 1800, but that number is way too big for any calculator to actually be able to output. So this is the simplest form that we can put our answer in. So that is our answer to 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901 and see how much big of a difference it is.
All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x is equal to 80. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with three to the power of x is equal to 80. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of X is equal to log 80. Now we want to find a way to, we want to find the value of X, right? And to get X, it's hard to do it when it's in exponent form. So we want to find a way to bring X down to make it a real term. And to do that, there is an important property of logarithms that states that if there's something in the form of log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 3 is equal to log 80. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite 80 here as 8 times 10. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. And this is another one of the exponent or sorry logarithmic properties there is also log a over b and if i have something in this form this is the same thing as log a minus log b so now going back to the problem we have log 8 times 10 and we can use this property so we can think of 8 as a and 10 as b so this is going to equal x log 3 is equal to log of 8 plus log of 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is simply equal to 1. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 8 plus log 10, or sorry, just 1. And now remember, we want to isolate x, so the only thing left to do is to get rid of this log 3 by dividing both sides by log 3. So then this cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 8 plus 1 over log 3. Now, log 8 is equal to 0 0.90309, and log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 0 0.90309 plus 1 over 0 0.4771. And this is equal to 1.90309 over 0 0.4771. Now, 1.90309 over 0 0.4771 is equal to 3.9888. So x is equal to 3.9889. Now, the only thing left to do is to check if my solution here is correct. So the original equation was right here, 3 to the power of x is equal to 80. 
and my solution is x is equal to 3.9889. So if I plug this in for x into my original equation, I get 3 to the power of 3.9889 is equal to 80. Now 3.9889 is really close to 4, right? So let's first find the value of 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. Now 3.9889 is a little less than 4, meaning we can estimate that it's going to be around 1 less than 81. So it's safe to say that 3 to the power of 39889, sorry, 3 to the power of 3.9889 is close to the value of 80.